Hey Slay Bays, welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial will be how to take down and detangle your natural hair after having not list box spray. So I've had these braids for about four months, um, about, about four months. I've had these braids for about four weeks and then my hair has gotten longer. So I know, you know, I really want to cut my hair down here <laughs> to start taking out these braids, but I haven't gotten there yet. So I want to be realistic about how long my hair is so that I don't waste my time taking down unnecessary braids. Um, you also don't want to cut it too short because you'll be cutting your hair. Well, the first step will be, are you getting them out all the same day? So if you are not, you do want to take out the crown area first so that if you take them all down, you have to run to the store, go pick up the kids. You can just pull it up into a ponytail and mask the part on the inside or the crown part that you have already taken down. So I do plan to take all of these braids out of my hair today. I'm going to actually film another video of what I'll do to my hair next. So go ahead and hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel so that you'll know when that video drops. The most important part is the install. You don't want a messy install. You don't want your hair to be dry and brittle at the time of braiding it because it only gets more dry and brittle as it goes, especially when it comes to taking them out. So the first step is make sure that your install is nice and neat and your hair is moisturized at the time of the install second step realize whether or not you are going to take all of your hair down in that same day thirdly you want to be realistic about where you cut your hair okay slay base so i have my shears and i have my walmart bags so you know we us we love walmart bags they're used for everything and i don't need hair everywhere so what i'm going to do is as soon as I cut, I'm going to place it in the bag. When I take out a braid, I'm going to place it in the bag. And that's for just for easy disposal. I'll go ahead and begin cutting. So I'm going to part my hair down the middle. That's my favorite way to start. One side on the left, one side on the right. And then I think if you look at my quick weave bob tutorial, I was noticing how long my hair got. And it was about here, here, here. I'm probably dreaming when i say here it might have been about this long so i'm definitely going to cut under this length so all this hair will be cut off i probably won't be able to cut above here in good conscious with hopes that i didn't cut my hair okay y'all i don't even know why i tried to cut all this hair at the same time it's too thick, so let's go back. Find the piece we already cut, trim it to that size. All right, so that left side is done. Now on to the right side, my hair is even, so I'm just gonna cut about the same length that I cut on the left side. I'm gonna do the same thing to the right side. So we have all the braids cut to the desired size, uh, which is more than likely longer than my hair, but that's a good thing. It's short enough not to be doing unnecessary braid takedown, but long enough to be in good conscience that I did not cut my natural hair. And I am taking down all of these braids today. So I can start wherever I want. I can cut wherever I want. And I did a good job parting the hair. Honestly, it still look, it's still in boxes. Um, it's just that it's time. So I'll start here just so that you guys can see it well. 
and I have a rat tail comb, just a regular rat tail comb so that I can be in taking down these braids. So I'm just doing this to start. A lot of times it's easier for me to use my fingers like this. Majority of the time I use my thumb and my pointer finger on my left hand. My right hand, it's a power hand. It can't really do tedious things like that without cramping up carpal tunnel. I don't know what it is, but I usually just use my left hand, my less dominant hand, and I'm able to successfully get the braids out with using just my fingers. Sometimes like, especially on my girl's hair where they don't have extensions and it's not a blunt cut to be able to take it out easily. And it's like their hair gradually becomes skinnier or thinner then I will have to use a rat tail comb to at least start the bottom. And then at the top, I can use my finger like this to undo the braids. And this probably will take me an hour to do the whole detangling process. I'll be sure to let you know. Uh, I do have 78 braids. So this will be the first of 78 taken out. All of them are still attached. Another reason why I'm taking these out is because it is pulling on my natural hair. At this point, it's pulling on it. That's how much new growth I have. Um, and I don't want to jeopardize the length of my hair. I am trying to grow it. So I'm doing all protective styling through the year of 2021. We'll see what 22, 2022 brings. And it's getting kind of difficult to detangle this hair. And I think it's probably because I used hair from another strand to make another strand thicker. But I got it back on track. You can see the prominent three strands like I said if it's neat it's easier to take out if it's not it's harder so here's one of the three strands that I use the second strand that I use and let's see the third strand that I use and the fourth strand that I use so this is an edge but as you can see it's still braided and not only is it still braided, it has like nasty, dirty buildup. So I'm gonna take my rat tail comb, detangle or unbraid my real hair because this section I can't do with my fingers. It is a thin piece of hair so that rat tail comb helps with detangling. It's kind of hard, guys. I'm trying to do it without breaking breakage or anything. There we go. All separated, still dirty. But what we're gonna do now is comb it out. You don't wanna wait until the end to comb the knots out. It's not fun. You wanna go ahead and get them now so that when you wash it, it's just fine. Okay, you see that? So this is the breakage. We're hoping not to have much of that. All right, we have that first strand coming out. Came out with two strands. Third strand coming out. And there's one more strand, maybe two in here. Yes, two strands. Out. So this is my natural hair so i probably more than likely could have cut these braids a lot shorter but my hair stops here so this is giving me enough room and wiggle room and leeway or however you want to say it to not cut my hair and i'm fine with that so on to the tangling i'm going to unbraid this part using my rat tail unbraid it and then separate them so this is no breakage no breakage on this one at all in addition to that i can still feel moisturizer on my hair you can tell even though it's extremely dirty you can still kind of see some shine Okay guys, we're getting to the top. So I'm expecting strands to come out, extension strands to come out. Now, so this is the first one came out. 
the second one and the third is coming out together and there should be one more here it is the fourth has come out this braid no breakage so far it's kind of loose up here already and i was able to detangle that braid with my finger and separate it okay good 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 all right guys so i will be back i'm going to detangle probably about a, a fourth maybe even half and then i'll be back um to show you my progress and about how long it's taking Hey, slave bays, I'm back. I've taken down one side of my braids. I'm about to start working on the next side. It took me about two hours to do this. I can't lie. So I guess I'm anticipating another two hours. Of course, it wasn't two hours straight. I'm eating snacks. I'm disciplining kids. I'm making moves in between looking crazy. But it did come out nice like my hair is so soft i think that's because like i said the install is the most important part so my hair is extremely moisturized it was braided neatly you can tell because it's not matted all over the place it still has crinkles and when i do this i'm not pulling hair out so that's the most important thing that we're not having breakage that's all new growth no slippage none of that that's that's some that's some growth. I'm going to go to the underside of the braid. You know it's the underside because the braids are going in this way and down and down. This way, they're going back, back, back. That's what people mean when they say overhand, underhand. So you take the back side and that's the part that's the easiest. You don't want to pull from this side. It's hard to even find a notch to not make your, make your fingernail stop slipping. So this side your fingernail will stop slipping as you go through the middle. That's how you know you're on the right side. And you'll just put your fingernail in there, pull. Put your fingernail in there, pull. Do it all the way, all the way, all the way. After you're putting your finger in the hole and pulling, finger in the hole and pulling, when you put your finger in the hole, now that you're so far up, you can go two notches, one, two notches up. Put your finger in that hole, pull. But the other side, put your other finger in that one, pull as you're doing it. So that there's no knots as you're pulling the hair down. I'm putting my finger one, two in because it's faster to do two above. Putting my finger in there. And then I'm putting my finger on this side and putting my thumb on that side. So I have all three strands separated. And then I pull my fingers through. That way it's easier and faster. So look guys, I done made it all the way to the top and the strands have not come loose. So I'm just sliding all of the hair off of my natural hair. Same thing with this one, y'all. It didn't come off in three pieces. It's coming off in one whole piece. This is my natural hair. This is the extension hair. Let me go ahead and take this side down. I'll be back to show you the finished results of me taking down my hair. I already like how it turned out. Y'all, like, look at this texture that these braids gave me. I'm heat trained, so I never really see any texture. And this looks like a perfect braid out situation on dirty hair. <laughs> But I'll be back because I'll ramble all day. See you guys in a second. Hey, Slay Bay. So I'm back. It is the evening. It's literally taking me all day to take these braids down. I left a few just so that I can show you. I have three left. Um, I did separate this, but I did not comb it through. But I did separate it so it'll be ready for detangling. Um, and yeah, no breakage, but it is a lot of gunk in there. And I haven't combed through these. Another thing, don't comb all the way through your hair. 
unless it's tangled do not comb all the way through it's detangled see it's already detangled there's no need to comb it uh put any extra stress on your hair now you do have a few that are tangled that are going to have breakage um especially the edges um which i mentioned earlier you do some want to detangle those so these have been separated but they don't even need detangling y'all look look there are no tangles and this looks like the perfect braid out i'm just gonna go ahead and take the last three out now once it gets long i can't flick it out anymore and so at that point that's when i begin to use my little two finger method which i think is like a hack my two finger hack but it may be something that everybody does on their takedown braids i have no idea but if i'm telling you something new put something in the comments and say girl i did not even know you could do that or say something we've been doing that for years everybody does that just let me know i don't know i think i think i'm cool and different and it's okay to be the same that just shows that you know the world is small and we got to be doing something right if everybody doing it we all doing something wrong i just want to make sure you know i see the strands come out so that i know that my hair isn't attached to them so this just came out my hair isn't attached to it this came out with it two strands at the same time um so i'm looking for one more strand to come out of this braid and yeah there it is so that's nice and i want to go to the top and separate the braid of my real hair get the three strands there they are one two three and it's already detangled So I'm flipping that to the back side of the braid, the under part of the braid, because it's easier to take out that way. I guess I didn't do that bad cutting it. Like I said, I could have done like two more inches, but that would be cutting it close. So maybe like one more inch. Hey, can't a girl dream of having long hair <laughs> and I have hair up here my natural hair and I'm trying to separate it from the last strand and there we go no breakage you see that no breakage it's coming right off of my hair I got them all out, y'all. Mm. Ah! I'm lit. Oh, my head and my neck feel so much better. It's just something about taking out braids. I can like rub my scalp. All right, so what I'm going to do is go back and make sure these parts that had nasty, nasty in them are separated. Put my finger through the middle, separating it. No breakage. I'm doing it very, very, very lightly. Um, honestly, I feel like you really don't need a comb if you take your time. Maybe in some hard spots where the hair is really tight because it's thin. Or, you know what I'm saying? Then you may need the, braid, the comb to get in between. Otherwise, take your time and love with my length retention i am in love with the fact that i have no breakage whatsoever well not no breakage but little to no breakage let me put it like this so maybe maybe 10 strands of my hair came out turn around so that you can see the back it did very good in the back no breakage and these are separated in the back. Oh, some are separated. I have to make sure that I separate the others 
like this one right here was not separated the natural hair was not separated from the braid um but yeah all of these are So with that being said, I will be able to go straight into my wash. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like my video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Um, I enjoyed making this video simply because it had to get done. I had to take my hair down and why not let you guys know how I've been maintaining my length. No breakage so far. Um, I am trying to get bra strap length hair. For you guys who are new to my channel um so right now i'm at like you know my shoulder <laughs> um so i have a ways to go to go get to a bra strap length hopefully it doesn't take me a long time but at least until december right now it's the very 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 beginning of november uh, i'll be doing protective styling so i have probably about one or two more protective styles for this year um the next one being the one i'll do next and i'll probably post that so once again hit that notification bell so once i drop the video you will not miss it um i'm thinking about maybe doing some faux locks crochet faux locks or maybe another quick weave video i know you guys really love my quick weave video that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye